So we're at Curry Dive Park, which is one of the local dive parks here in the Wauwatosa slash Milwaukee area. Uh, just hanging out with all the rest of the co-residents here and our and dogs. Our dogs. <laughs> uh, so where are you all from? Uh, I'm from Illinois. I grew up in St. Charles. Um, I'm a Michigander by trade. I am from Grand Rapids, <laughs> Michigan and came over here for residency. So. I'm from Puerto Rico. I've been here three years for residency. So far, I love it. I'm from Haiti originally, and I'm here for medicine. Is radiation oncology kind of a strange thing to get into, do you think? I, I would tell you radiation oncology is pretty hidden. As a medical student, the only way I kind of got introduced to it was because of my early interest in HEMOC. And that's one of the modalities that people use to treat um, different malignancies and things like that. So that's how I got exposed to it. A lot of medical students, unfortunately, don't necessarily get that. So it, yeah, I, I think I was blessed to, to meet <laughs> all these great people and I'm, I'm very happy that I'm going to be joining them next year. It's really refreshing to meet people that are really invested in your care and they really care about you, about you, your family, what you do outside of work. Coming from Puerto Rico, I didn't know a lot about the field, didn't know a lot of names. So one of the things that surprised me was just knowing that we had such big names in the field and I never knew because they were so humble that I'm like, oh wow, wait, we have like the top doctors in our field and they're working with me and I had no idea. And they never show it, they're so humble in how they treat patients and how they treat us that um, you would never know. <laughs> so is this something you all thought you'd get into as kids? No. <laughs> I didn't even know this existed. <laughs> I was going to be an orthopedic surgeon uh, when I started medical school and that quickly changed. Um, I realized that the surgery life was not a life that I wanted to follow and I kind of fell into the field and I love it. The day-to-day -day is really robust. You see patients in clinic, but you also get to go to do procedures. You get to design treatment fields. And so it's a really cool combination of all these different skills. I just felt immediately supported and like I was part of a new team and a new family like the other my other co-residents and future co-resident have already said. And <laughs> I'm very happy hugs. to be here. Get some hugs. <laughs> Zoe. Honestly, I'm going to echo it again. I mean, it is the people that really make a place. I mean, okay, any place you interview at, they're going to have linear accelerators, they're going to have fancy bells and whistles, everybody's got something that's, you know, cutting edge. But when it comes down to it, that doesn't matter. You're going to get the training you need. It's whether or not you're supported or not. And the people here are truly supportive. They care about you. They check in. They make sure that you're actually getting an education that you want. You're not just somebody to just fill a spot. They actually want to see you succeed. So.